Is your small business growing? That's the question we address right here on the Grow Your Biz Show. It's where we interview strategic entrepreneurs who inform and inspire you on your solopreneur or small company journey. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Grow Your Biz Show. Hello and welcome to episode number 108 of the Grow Your Biz Show. I'm the host of the program, Paul Madsen, and also the founder of GrowMedia.com. Richard and Marjorie, GrowMedia.com helps small businesses to tell their unique business story via the social media videos that we do together. That's what GrowMedia.com is. Marjorie uh, Sturgeon and Richard Lewis, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Good to have you here, thanks for coming over. Glad they to are, of course, the founders and owners, co-owners of Weberize, did I say that right? Yes, Okay. Good awesome. Job. And we're gonna learn a lot more about what they do. First, forgot to mention that we also have uh, not only social media videos, but we also, obviously, uh, have the TV show right here at KPAO Studios in Omaha, Nebraska, and with many thanks to them as well. Marjorie, Richard, Weberized, mm -hmm. tell me, what business are you in, Marjorie? What, what customer benefit do you provide for your, your customers? Uh, we are your one-stop shop for uh, creating a podcast and incorporating it as part of your um, digital marketing strategy and presence. Wonderful, and so you, you're telling me that um, a podcast is part of a digital strategy? What is a digital strategy? Yes. Now, I started a business 20 years ago. I didn't have a digital strategy. What does that mean? Right, so today you really want to use um, as many platforms as you can to kind of meet your business goals. And so there's social media, there's your own website, and podcasting is just another addition to creating an integrated digital strategy to meet those goals. Just in case, there's someone has been sleeping under a rock, Richard, for um, 10 years, 15 years, what is a podcast? A podcast is a really, it's a form of communication to get your story, your ideas, your passions out to the masses. And, and via what media? Do I stand out on a cliff somewhere and shout? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but what we can do is we can record Okay. And uh, we can put that on the internet and get it out to everybody. And we're going to talk a lot about that, the nuts and bolts behind that, the why, the how, and all that kind of thing. Um, that's, uh, that, uh, and, and more about digital strategy as well. Before we do that, um, tell me, Richard, why are you in this business? I mean, why, why, why podcasting? Why, why this crazy business? Well, podcasting has become very huge over the last decade. Uh, the, uh, the, the, numbers, the number of podcasting has grown exponentially. And there are a lot of people out there who have stories to tell. They have uh, ideas, they have passions that they just want to get off their chest, really. Right. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to provide a platform to do just that, for you to share your passions, to share your ideas, uh, to share... Um, your stories with the masses. Well, and that's awesome that you, you want to facilitate that, it sounds like. You have a real, a real um, um, interest in, in getting those voices out there, it sounds like. Well, that, that leads to the next question then, I guess, which is, uh, you know, there are a lot of avenues for people to actually get out there and, and tell their story nowadays. I mean, it can start with my little old phone here and, mm -hmm. and and, and so on, and everybody has one now, including most seven-year-olds. <laughs> so I don't know if they have podcasts, but I'd probably be in bed. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably wouldn't be surprised. Well, what I'm going for, Marjorie, is what makes Weberized different than any other podcast studio? I mean, some uh, a lot of choices, like I said. What, what, what is it about you that's unique? Mm -hmm. um, our uniqueness comes from our backgrounds. Uh, we are former uh, news professionals and we have backgrounds in broadcasting um, and we take a real journalistic approach to helping you create your story and, and produce it. Um, so that's, that's the advantage that we provide. Okay, and so your backgrounds um, give you, I mean, how many years in the news business do you, you have combined? <laughs> 
<laughs> have you ever added it up? <laughs> uh, combined, not a math question, sorry. <laughs> combined, it's about 30. Wow, that's a bunch. And so, I mean, give us a little specifics about what you've done. I mean, that is part of your story. Um, I've been a digital content producer for uh, various TV stations, ranging from markets uh, 147 um, to market 17. And the, I don't know what those mean. They're television markets, so um, the bigger city you live in, the, the, the smaller number your market is. So okay. like New York is market one, Orlando is market. And you did one, which ones? Orlando um, was market 17. 17. Uh, well, market 147 was Sioux City, Iowa. Sioux City, Iowa. <laughs> and What's then Omaha? In between, Omaha was 75. About 75 I yeah, 75. What, huh, 75? 75. Interesting. I it's a mid market. Didn't know we were 75 yeah. before, <laughs> right here in Omaha. Well, that's interesting. And Richard, how about you? Uh, what, what kind of work have you done in the news business yourself? Oh, goodness. Uh, my, uh, my news experience started off uh, in print media, actually. Oh, really? Um, I was a. Uh, uh, editorial researcher for two newspapers. One, first, first for the uh, Orlando Sentinel in Orlando, oh, Florida, and then I did a sh I did a stint at the Omaha World Herald, okay. working in the uh, editorial library. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, from there, uh, I went to television. Uh, I started off as a production assistant. Quickly became a technical director. Uh, I was the production manager at. KPTM here in, here in Omaha. Okay. Uh, I went on to be a senior director in Tallahassee, wow. uh, lead director in Orlando. Uh, I've made the journey. Yeah, well, uh, you, you're both of you together sound like a, a great background in broadcasting mm -hmm. and, like you said, telling people's stories. Mm -hmm. You know how to get it in, get it out, and get it done ha fast and, mm -hmm. and, and fine tune that message, it sounds like. For multiple platforms, not just Such TV, as? but but for digital, so when you write a TV story, you also have to write it for the web, and then from the web, you have to break it into smaller chunks for social media, and just how to incorporate all those um, and create a workflow. It's primarily taking a, you know, take, you know, taking a, uh, taking something from its incubacy and uh, trying to decide what direction that needs to go in. Sure, and that's what we—that's what we specialize in. Well, yeah, and you've—you've you've done it for years and years. <laughs> I mean, because the news stories you report on, they could go a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. And well, I didn't really hear that you were editors necessarily, were you, of TV news or TV? But you story created content, you said. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the TV newsroom is is a little bit different. There's not really an editor position. Okay, There's like right. an executive producer okay, who gotcha. oversees everything. Um, and then for digital, that's even different. So um, it, it varies, but you know, we're always writing and always creating. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and getting that word out, right? Mm -hmm. in, in a quick hurry, in a sound bite sometimes. Yes. I, I imagine uh, when you, and we'll talk more about this, when you work with your customers, uh, isn't that a big challenge sometimes to help them hone their message? Yeah, yes, and, like, and in, in that initial planning stage too, you have to think about when you even wanna launch your podcast yeah. and work back from there even. Well, there's all the strategy. Well, I have sat through your class before that you do at the Do Space through, is that through Do Space itself? Uh, so I volunteer as an instructor For, at Do Space. Okay, yeah, and yeah. Uh, that helps people kind of get their, their fingers and toes wet yeah. with uh, the idea of podcasting. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have uh, sat through Marjorie's class before now and loved it and took a million notes and, and then went on to implement almost nothing of it. <laughs> We're all busy. Yeah. And, and at any rate, um, um, what I was hoping we could do at this show, and with your permission, of course, and, uh, is, is to kind of extend that class and, yeah. and teach people, I mean, what, uh, what, um, what they need to do to, to get their message out there and what you can do to help them. Yeah. You up for that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Woohoo! Okay. Yes. Well, that'd be great. Um, before I do that, I just, uh, your, your backgrounds, I mean, what, you've been crafting voices and stories together, apart and together for many years. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what was the initial spark? We speak to entrepreneurs, of course, uh, who start their own businesses. What was the initial spark that said, well, we should do this for ourselves? What was that spark? Mm, uh, it, it was just time. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> you know. I know, it was time. It yeah. was time. You know. <laughs> we, I think we both, worked in, we, worked, we both worked in news media for so long. And uh, I think we just needed a, a different outlet. Mm -hmm. Right. And, yeah, I mean, those are corporate America situations. 
often owned by conglomerates, right? Absolutely. And so decision making is fragmented, perhaps, is a word to call it. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and, uh, and, well, it's and, nice to be able to call your own shots. Yeah, exactly. You don't really have much control sometimes, do you? Yeah. Well, that's the story of all employees, and I think that's the story of most entrepreneurs, uh, your customers and my customers as well, is uh, I think, but in my case, you know, I can't work for anybody else. <laughs> I was just thinking about that today, the Steve Jobs uh, movie, uh, where he's one of the many, where he's portrayed, and they said something like, um, you know, he says to his friend, I, I just can't work for somebody. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it wasn't quite that radical with you, sure. perhaps, but it was time. Any, any more reflection on what it was time meant, means? Uh, I, yeah, it was, it was time and the opportunity was there, you know, and it's scary to yeah. take that leap and, oh, yeah. you know, but um, Very scary. It w it's uh, worth it. Yeah. Well, I, and, I mean, what's it like to, to drive to uh, your office versus uh, the old days of going to work. What's, what's that feel like? <laughs> it's, it's very liberating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number one, you know, I can get there as early as I want to or yeah. whenever I feel like it. Well, I, I heard a quote, my wife just reminded me about this one the other day. She said, I'm an entrepreneur. I can choose whatever 18 hours a day I want to work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's pretty much what it comes yeah, down yeah. to. Yeah. We you spend can, a lot can, of our time. You can sleep at two in the afternoon or Two at night to six in the morning, whatever, four right. hours you want to sleep. Right. <laughs> well, that, that kind of sums up, I think, a lot of our viewers as well as how, mm -hmm. we, how they look at, at things, too. So, uh, any, before we jump into class, uh, any crazy speed bumps you've hit along the way that you were, weren't planning for? I mean, you've, been a, you've had this company for how long? A couple years now, almost? It'll be two years in May. Two years in May, mm -hmm. okay. Well, the, uh, well, part of it, uh, the, uh, the digital media aspect of it has been, has, has been in existence for almost two years. Okay, cool. Uh, we just started the podcasting arm. Oh, okay. Uh, just recently, but maybe, what was it, last July? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Last July is when so we So that's a our new outgrowth. So you started as something else? Just uh, digital marketing. Okay. So social media management. And, and why did you add the podcast services into that? Uh, we just saw, we, we saw an opportunity. Uh, again, it was, we saw a, uh, a, a way to help other people tell stories. And that's basically, that's primarily what we're really yeah. all about. That's what we've always well, been Well, I mean, about. the digital media without podcasting or without the certain parts of telling the, the audio or the video or both stories uh, is, is not a full strategy, wouldn't you say, Marjorie? Uh, yeah, and, and you want to be able to use whatever you're creating and multi-purpose it. Good. So yeah. that's always my philosophy. I'm learning that from you. That's great. You know, I, I mean, this, this show itself could be chopped up into various segments, and I'm sure you and I will be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, because uh, you know, social media is consumed differently than a television show, and mm -hmm. consumed differently uh, reading versus listening versus watching. I heard, I heard an interesting one. Uh, you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is? Uh, he's uh, a big social media speaker and kind of crass, but he's got a huge following. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was saying how um, people, you may have a YouTube video, he says, but maybe a lot of people are listening to that, only listening. They're not watching it, mm -hmm. they're listening while they're doing something else. Mm -hmm. And so you talk about cross-purposing. Yep. Is that a good example of that? Yeah, absolutely. And so um, a, a the same effect happens with podcasting. People right. are multitasking right. yeah. while they're listening, they're commuting. That's or, why it's so popular. I, mean, yeah. I think uh, um, John Lee Dumas, who uh, started the Entrepreneur on Fire, and they have millions of followers. Are you familiar with that one? No, but I'll look it up. Yeah, you look it up. It's a good one. It's kind of one of the leaders. He was discovering back in, I think, 2013 or so, um, he discovered podcasts and he listened to one um, and liked it on his commute to work mm -hmm. and, and was very disappointed that he had to wait one week for another one mm -hmm. of the same topic of the same show. And therefore, he eventually decided to make his own, guess what, seven days a week. Now, he tapes them all on one day, so it's not like he's taping seven days, but he, that was dif what differentiated him mm -hmm. in the whole podcasting world is that he had one every day. Yeah. And they were, you know, 20, 30 minute long things until he's got over 2,000 of them now. So <laughs> numbers well, add up. I think the idea of appointment, uh, appoint whether it's appointment television or appointment uh, uh, 
broadcasting is slowly declining because right. people want to be able to list, want to be able to consume their media when they want to. I, I know what you mean by appointment. To define that a little bit, so viewers, appointment television. Yeah. Uh, say, for instance, like a, any network TV show that you may watch that comes out at seven every Thursday night. You have to be there at seven, right? And every Thursday night, if you want to watch it, right? But you know, that's the, that's that's a that's a that's a dying breed right now yeah. because you have streaming television, you have podcasts, right? Which you know, we, we, you can decide when you want to watch, right? It. And I mean, DVR and yeah. extends that somewhat too, sure. so it's not totally dead and it won't die, I don't think. But I understand what you mean. I never heard it referred to as appointment media before. That's kind of interesting to think about. And that's a very key thought, I think, for what we should talk about more when we talk about podcast strategies. So, well, let's jump in with the few minutes we have left um, for, into class. Um, I'm, I'm Joe Bob, and I uh, uh, want to form a, I don't know, what kind of company should we form that uh, is going to need a podcast? What, what, what kind of company should we make believe create here? Almost everybody does, right? Oh, well, the, uh, a, a very popular format is... Um, I mean, what kind, of, what kind of business? What kind oh. of business am I in? Let's be, we're going to create XYZ Acme Company. Maybe oh, okay. making mugs. Making mugs. Okay, okay, perfect. I love it. Thank you for yeah. just saving saving <laughs> idea. We're, we are XYZ Mug Manufacturer, and yeah. uh, um, I, I own XYZ Mug mm -hmm. Manufacturing, and I hope there's not an XYZ <laughs> Mug Manufacturing out there. There probably is. <laughs> Sorry, it's an example only. <laughs> um, and, and I said, you know, I, my kids are talking to me about podcasts and they listen to their, their media people on podcasts and, and I, what, I, I, think, I, I think maybe my mug company should have, have a podcast. Um, and, and what do I do first? Oh, well, I think there are a lot of things you need to consider when you start a podcast. Number okay. one, do you have the equipment? Number two, do you have the technical background? I mean, because you know, there's a lot okay, of things. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I make mugs. I don't really. Have, I don't <laughs> exactly. know anything about tech. I mean, our company has a web page that we looked at a couple, three, four months ago, and we have um, someone who's supposed to keep it current, but I don't think she does because she's too busy doing payroll. Yeah. And uh, you know, but I don't really know much about the technical. What, tell, t what should I do, Richard? What should I do for? Te what's my first step as a tech to set up the technical part of a podcast? Well, do you have the means to record it? Number one. Record it. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just guess, talk. <laughs> well, I guess well, before you record, you have to come up with a. You have to come up with an idea. You have to come up with a format. You have to know exactly what you want to talk about. You have okay. to know exactly what you want to, uh, to 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 get out there to the people who want to listen to you. Okay. Is it an interesting story? Do you know how to tell an interesting story? There okay. are a lot of questions you're going to ask yourself. Yeah, yeah, is what Richard is saying. Sure. <laughs> what I think what we're going to have to do is. Uh, Hold this over to a second segment and uh, and uh, add some of those, address some of those. But for the first one, okay, um, you've met, you've got me thinking, Richard. I I think my my show is going to be called uh, the Mug Lifestyle, oh. and it, and it's for people uh, people. Um, well, my customers, you know, they, I mean, they can drink out of anything, anywhere, anytime. But when when they when they use my mugs, they they feel they do this. They they feel mm -hmm. part of. Uh, a life they like to hold on to them. Mostly females who use my mugs because my mugs are really cool and, and make them feel whatever together. I don't. I'm making this up. <laughs> but okay, so that's kind of my theme: the mug lifestyle. And and my market, I think, is is women over age 30 who are concerned about helping to furnish their homes and have coffee with their friends. So what do I do next from a from a tech standpoint? I've got a theme. Might not be very good, <laughs> but I, I took 12 seconds to plan it. Come on. <laughs> so what do I what do I do next to record that information? You say I got to record it. What do I record it on? Well, well, you, well, there's a a lot of different options you can use. I mean, there's a if you one of the things that Margie likes to talk about uh, during her class is equipment, mm -hmm. and you use what you have. I like that. Yeah, well, I like that. You mean I don't have to spend two thousand dollars to get started? Right. Right. So. Our whole philosophy too is about removing barriers. Ah. And so if the number one barrier is um, you don't have fancy equipment like we've got on the coffee table here, mm -hmm. use your smart device. Ah. And just get started by using your smart device. Use what you have available to you. Awesome. And so I, I think my first The Mug Life episode is um, going to be just me talking about 
the mugs and the care and the, the, the design, the love that we put into designing our mugs and, and the, the, the feeling that I want you as a customer to have when you buy and enjoy our mugs. Um, so I think I'm just going to, as a founder of, what were we, mugs.com, mm, mug, X, XYZ, mug XYZ <laughs> mugs, <laughs> yeah. oh. better remember the company name. <laughs> as a, as a, uh, the founder, of it, I, I want to convey my why. I want to convey why I'm in the mug business. And so I think it's just going to be me talking about mugs at first. So if I hear you right, I take my smartphone and I record my my 20 minute tirade about my passion for mugs. Yes. And how do, what do I record on? Uh, what, what tool, what app, what, whatever? Voice memos is fine. Voice memos. Uh, there are other apps out there. Do a little research, um, whether or not you want to pay for them. But make sure you're in a quiet room. Uh. Number two, um, uh, another trick is, you know those canvas totes that are used a, a lot for a lot of storage? Um, get a canvas tote and put your recording smartphone in there and speak into the canvas tote. That will help capture the uh -huh. sound. Interesting. Yeah. The canvas bag. Yeah. Well, you're high budget here. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this, I mean, that tip comes from, uh, I saw um, some NPR reporters doing that. Um, they tweeted like a behind the scenes photo. And that's what I love about your podcast concept that you've just made up here on the spot is you're opening up the behind the scenes to your business and right. why you started it and what you're passionate about. And yeah. there's, there's all that potential for it. So um, that's the, the other, my other word of advice is start kind of seeing what other people are doing and pull the ideas that work for you. Uh, and the, the, I mean, wh wh where do I listen, where do I find podcasts? I mean, in my emails, I get some spam stuff that has listen to my podcast here, but where else, how do I find a podcast? Well, there are several podcasts, what they're called. Platforms. Po po yep. Yeah. A lot of platforms out there are called podcatchers. Okay. And, uh, it's, it's a matter of signing up. I, I meant like the answer. iTunes and the Stitcher. Right, exactly. Is that yeah, those are actually yep. called okay. podcatchers, uh, yep. whether it's iTunes, whether it's Stitcher, whether it's... Uh, called what? Podcatchers. Podcatchers. Pod okay. Yes. That's a term I have not heard. Yeah, it's, it's an industry jargon. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Well, we're all about jargon here, so that's cool. Uh, um, but yeah, it's the... Um, list some podcatchers where I can list, listen to other, other mug uh, podcasts out there. Um, Spotify is a major one, and then the Apple Podcasts app is also major. Um, Stitcher, and then there's the iHeartRadio. Um, there's Podcasts, then there's the Google uh, Play Store. Play? No, just Google, Google Play. Podcasts. Yeah. Google Play. Oh, Google Podcasts. Google Podcasts, okay. Um, so, so, and the list is growing all the oh, time. Yeah. So. Well, there's plenty of places, and I recognize all of those, and there are um, um, plenty of places I had you do that just in case someone doesn't know where, right. to, where to listen to podcasts. We're, we're starting at zero here today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, um, now, now they'll know where to go. And, and then can you sort by category or by subject? Or how do you find what you want? Yeah, so when you first uh, go to one of those podcatchers, especially like Spotify, they, you just click the little podcast button. And then they've got like genres. And there's crime. And then there's That's right. yeah. pop culture. And sure. there's all, I mean, Think about it, like for any topic, there's a podcast. Well, and that's true. And those, yeah, the most, we have found that the most, the most popular podcasts are the really niche podcasts. Right. The ones that are so narrowed and focused. Well, I'm glad you said that because, um, well, first of all, because XYZ Mud Company is pretty narrow. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I want to sell a lot of mugs, and so uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to really appeal to my, my tight niche. They all have but, an audience. And they do, and they, yeah. And, and, I've heard, and maybe you know this, the right answer, but I've heard there are 700,000 podcasts out there. That is correct. Yeah, that's, that's a good and starting so it's number. A, it's a, you do have to stand out, don't you? And during our next segment, we're going to talk more about social media and differentiated and, and uh, marketing and more of that nichemanship. Right now, I'm going to back up, back into the text. So I record my, my, um, my tirade, I don't know why I call it a tirade, <laughs> my, my sermon, whatever, about mugs, onto maybe voice, voice, voice memo, voice memo, yeah. voice memo or, or an app that I can find mm -hmm. online. And uh, now what do I do, Richard? Well, you actually, you, you, you'll, take that, uh, you'll take that audio file and you'll, you can just pretty much take that audio file and load it up to a, to a, uh, hosting, service. To a hosting service. How do I, how do, I do that? 
the, well, there is a step in between there too. You may want to edit some okay. of your tirade. Well, I, I think well, that's, I think, you know, we're talking about the bare bones. Okay. A lot of people don't know how to edit. Yeah, yeah well, and editing is another complex, time-consuming right. It's wrinkle. very time-consuming. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Uh -huh. We all know that. So, I mean, be sure to plan for time-consuming editing if you want that. Some people don't do that. Some people have the raw Straight. approach. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm me, take me as you want me, you know, right. uh, here I am, and whatever. There are, very, yeah, there are different philosophies on how people want to you know, sure. put their message out there. Whether, sure. it's, whether it's just raw, a lot of people, you know, and then you have those editors who like to take out all the ums and yeah, ahs, yeah. they find those distracting. Yeah. But then a lot of people think that you know, just the raw is the, the best way to communicate. Sure. That's the way that people... Well, for me as an entry-level uh, Joe Bob of XYZ Coffee Mug or Mug Company, I, I think I'm bare bones right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be raw. And you know, um, off coughs, whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it out there. And so, how do I put it out there? So that's when you need to determine your hosting service. Okay. Um, and there's always more and more out there. Um, there are some free options, but when you're getting something for free, you're also giving up something. Mm -hmm. So you have to determine if that's part of your end goals. Okay. You know. Um, and then there's the paid services, so then you have to determine if you have the budget for that. Okay. So um, the more questions you have to ask yourself. Right. You know what? And we're going to hold some of those questions over to our next segment. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a second segment because, we're, as you can tell, we're just, just scratching the surface here, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I have more questions because I want to I wanna launch my XYZ uh, mug podcast pretty soon. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is I don't have a mug company. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Uh, Tell us briefly about uh, your, your services as a, as a company, and then we'll wrap up for today. Sure. Uh, like I kind of said earlier, we're the one-stop shop where, where it comes to recording, editing, and then distributing your podcast and, and helping, you, helping guide you along the way. So if I don't want to do all this stuff, mm -hmm. who do I go to? Us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the right answer. The right answer. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of the Grow Your Biz Show. I do hope you watch next week because it's going to be even more detail with Richard and Marjorie about uh, how to get your podcast started and launched. And uh, we will see you next week. In the meantime, visit growmedia.com and learn about how you can uh, tell your company's unique story with video. Talk to you soon. Thanks for coming and go out there and grow something. Yeah.